Vellante of Wikibon.org, and this is day two of EMC World 2012. We're here live in Las Vegas. This is theCUBE, SiliconAngle.tv's continuous coverage of EMC World. We're theCUBE, we bring you all the guests, all the information, the CEOs, the executives, the product experts, the analysts, the bloggers, the practitioners, CIOs, and we package that information and we provide it to you, our audience, and um, we love to extract the signal from the noise. Uh, this is again Dave Vellante. I'm joined with my co-host, David Floyer. David, welcome. Hi there. So yes, this is day two. Now we've got something special here on SiliconANGLE TV this week. Uh, John Furrier, my normal co-host, is in California. So he was here yesterday, uh, co-hosting the EMC World coverage with me. He has flown into the HBase conference in San Francisco. HBase is the database, the open source database for Hadoop. Uh, there's a lot of action going on around HBase. Uh, uh, Cloudera is a big player in that, in that world, as are many, many others. So the Cube 2 is actually at the HBase conference. So John is there, he'll be back tomorrow. So if you want to watch the HBase coverage, go to siliconangle.tv and you'll see the HBase, HBaseCon 2012 and there's a link live on SiliconANGLE TV 2. You can click there to watch. They'll be starting later on today. But we're here live in Las Vegas covering end-to-end, wall-to-wall EMC World. Yesterday we heard Joe Tucci and Pat Gelsinger uh, give keynotes. Uh, David, Joe Tucci took us through the waves, uh, gave us a little history lesson. Now, Joe Tucci's very fond of the wave analogy, uh, but he took a little different tack this time. I mean, he's generally shown some waves in the past, but he demonstrated some deeper knowledge of industry history. Of course, Joe's been around for a while. Um, in fact, he was going to retire last year, but he's decided to stay on. Now, I'm sure we're going to talk about that more, but he really got deeper into the waves. I don't know what you made of that, uh, that presentation. Well, it was, uh, it was great for me uh, because I've been through a lot of those waves as well. So he started with the, the mainframes and even before then. Uh, so that was an interesting look back at history. But I think his main point was, was trying to predict what was going to happen in the cloud wave. Um, and uh, that, that's, uh, and his key message all the way through was that there was a, a killer application which made each wave uh, work. OLTP work. in the mainframe wave. OLTP, uh, uh, X, well not Excel, but uh, spreadsheets on in, the PC. In the desktop, we had talked desktop. about ERP in the client server the phase. client server environment, yes. So each of these had their particular killer application. His view of the cloud was that the killer application was real-time analytics. And um, I, I felt that he came a little short on that because uh, I think there's something uh, what I call real-time inline analytics, uh, which is what it means is that you're using that analytics to actually change the, the operational systems. You have, have a feedback loop into them. And that to me is where it's all going to end up, uh, big data. Uh, is going to be integrated into the operational system. Is, isn't that what SAP HANA does? Yes, uh, that's a good precursor and it's a great piece of software. Um, obviously, uh, that particular way of doing it with uh, battery back main memory basically is an expensive way of doing it. And there will be other more effective ways of doing that from a technology point of view, but from the fundamental process, yes, it's uh, it's a good start. It's not is not big enough. It's not uh, it's not uh, feedback enough into the main operational system. So it doesn't get, have those aspects. But it's it's a start, and there'll be many many other starts on the on the road to that type of computing. Well, we also heard Pat Gelsinger talk about the the Mega Launch Two EMC's lineup of forty two products. Uh, he went through them in, in quite some detail. Yes, he did. Uh, yeah. And Chad Sackich was on stage with him. Uh, <laughs> Chad yeah. and Pat have become quite a team. Chad is the demo meister, and yep. uh, and has a big following, as we know. Chad's a uh, you know extremely competent individual and has a has a, a lot of good um, connections within the practitioner community. Um, but you know, I mean, generally speaking, there wasn't anything earth shattering in the products, but it was. Uh, 
but it was impressive, the, the portfolio was impressive. I mean, it was a lot of bigger, better, faster, some new right. software, um, uh, uh, extending capabilities that they had announced previously, uh, and um, you know, generally a pretty impressive, what was impressive to me is that they could coordinate everything and line it up and synchronize it. Now again, some of it is a little bit you know, questionable as to when it actually ships, but generally speaking, uh, I thought they did a good job of, of packaging that up. That's not a trivial task to do. No, I, it, was, it was impressive in, in the breadth of the, uh, all the products. I, I, a couple of things stood out to me. I couldn't help but thinking of the Skyline equivalent, um, that this might be the last mega uh, uh, tier one type array announcement. You know, it's, it's 3,000 drives, et cetera. I, you know, with, with the advent of Flash and, and their Project X, which uh, from IO Extreme, which uh, I think it's very Extreme interesting. Extreme IO? Extreme IO, sorry. Um, What's Project X? Project X is the Flash only array that uh, they say that they're going to bring out later this year. So they're filling that in. I have that feeling that those are the products which are going to be the new uh, tier one arrays uh, in the future. Okay, so uh, okay, so we're going to take a break. So now uh, Don Basili's in the house, and uh, I think you guys mic'd up uh, Chuck Hollis, but Don needs to be mic'd up. So uh, Don Basili's the CEO of Violent Memory, and uh, he's he's been gracious enough with his time. He's going to come on, and we're going to talk about uh, what's happened in uh, in, in, in uh, Flash. I mean, we just we've been talking about it. Right. Well, we can. Violin's a company that is uh, well. smoking yeah. hot, and uh, mm -hmm. Don has a good perspective on it. So we're going to bring him on. So we're going to take a break right now. We'll be right back with Don Basili, CEO of Violin Memory. Keep it right here. <laughs> 